All right, autopilot e-cards is our first type of e-tool. The beauty of these is they're designed and the content is preloaded for you. So no matter what type of organization or business you are, you have ca the capability of s having auto communication to stay in touch, to remain loyal, to build loyalty to from your customers. Uh, and these go out on several occasions. I'm going to show you the autopilot choices in a moment. Uh, we automatically create them and we schedule them and we put them in a very important place called your messages. And that's the list of your up upcoming messages and previously sent messages as well. So keep an eye out for that. They're always branded with your images. Your contact info is always there and there are, are, are always links to your social networks as well. You can always at any time make changes to them before they go out, of course, and cancel or reschedule them. Um, I tell you, I always try to add something uh, relevant and timely when we're talking about our live webinars. And uh, this is one I just got this morning. It's from a good friend of ours of New Pandas, Mike Silvis. He's in Napa Valley and in the wine country. Yeah, he's got the good life. And this image and imagery is probably beautiful and applicable for where he is as well. And, but you'll notice we give a default message, and oftentimes ours is, uh, our fairly, has to be fairly generic. Mike always adds a customized content to his area. So the needs of a wine country uh, customer are much different than those of a Midwest customer, a customer in the South, even a customer in Southern California, to New York, you name it. So he's uh, talked about, okay, the seasons seem to be a little confused this year, and that's right in their market, as well as everyone, I guess. But what the heck, have a great spring anyway. It's a beautiful time in wine country, great time to visit, better time to buy. I love it. So this is an example of a card. We did all the work to create it in advance. Mike did the most important work and that was to customize the message. Let's do this. Let's take a jump uh, to the New Panda app. Now everyone should know where I am, right? I've logged into New Panda. If you need details on setup, uh, check out for the, look out for the other videos we've done earlier uh, on setting up your account. Uh, once you've done that, of course, you've loaded your contacts. That's another session we have. Now it's time to send your messages. This tab right up here in the top center. And the idea here is that this is the place where you'll be able to create a new message or you'll be able to use different editions or industry newsletters. You'll see this link appear or not appear depending on which edition of ours you're in. It just means an autopilot version. And we've talked about that with other groups. Uh, and then the autopilot settings I've mentioned. So while we're on that subject, I want to just show you the types of autopilots we have. And in this account, you'll see we've set up a group of major holidays throughout the year. This means that on these occasions, and you'll see the next delivery date, uh, let's see. I noticed that Mike, by the way, it was the spring is in full bloom e-card uh, that had been added to his account. It was by default scheduled to go out April the 20th, which of course now seems like, you know, midsummer. But we, uh, but Mike took that greeting and he went ahead and tweaked it like we saw and he scheduled it for now. So that's another thing you can do. They'll be in your list if you have them turned on. Keep an eye out. Uh, and then also you'll see different major specific holidays, but also things like uh, the annual favorites, uh, set your clock forward. Where is that? Spring, no. I'm so sorry, spring forward right here, right? And that'll next to go out 3 8 of, well, that already has gone out. So obviously, this, these dates get updated, by the way. They stay active for a little bit. Let me show you something, though. There's a one that's going to go out. Let's take this springs in full bloom. If you'd like to send it, I'm going to check this box. It's going to take the date of 4 20th, and now it has automatically created this greeting in my messages. If I click edit, I'm going to then see that a greeting has been created. Now I'm in the edit mode here, right? And it will automatically drop in my customized information. It puts a general message in here, which you can tweak and change. It always refers to the individual contact. This is what we call a tag. So it'll always speak to that contact with their first name, and it'll always be signed by you. And if you'd like to change how it's signed by you, you can do that as well. And you'll be able to see previews of any of these e-cards or e-tools as well. Uh, and I'll show you that as we're creating 
a more and additional uh, versions of that. By the way, if you uncheck that box at any time, it's going to remove the spring is in full bloom message, unless you've saved it or customized it and then saved it yourself. But that's about as easy as it is, and, and you'll know that then you've got content going out. You can see these are about once a month, so it's a nice way for a regular consistent contact. Now, it gets really fun when you add a birthday or, and I'm in the real estate edition now, this is often called a milestone anniversary. So let's think about that. If you're in our new auto edition and you have um, a customer who's purchased uh, their new vehicle a year ago, this would be their milestone anniversary. So these dates can be added to an individual contact. And the beauty there is when you turn these on, you will never forget those customers' birth dates again. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So that's the great news about that feature, and it's one that we have a, a tremendous following on. So I'd love to have your thoughts on that as well. And uh, any success you've had from those, please uh, be sure to let us know. Um, and by the way, uh, Rachel asks the question, which is a good one. Once those autopilots are checked, do they stay checked year after year? The answer, Rachel, and all of you, is yes that we always update those dates. So we'll move each edition to the next uh, to the next year. And we do that for you. Same with birthdays, of course. Every year they'll get a birthday. They could also get an anniversary greeting, any of those choices. Turn them on or off anytime. Always watch your your messages list. Now this is at the bottom. This is social autopilots. And this is just a teaser for Thursday's session for those of you watching with us live. Uh, we're going to talk all about how you can have social content automatically added under real estate headlines, referral requests, general interest in engaging questions, U.S. holidays and events. We have new uh, auto channel content, new ed education edition content, all kinds of pet care content, lots of things coming up to look for for different businesses. So uh, this is sort of the autopilot uh, feature in a nutshell and how you can create them. I keep mentioning that everything will appear in your messages. So let's take a look at that. And by the way, for those of you who I've seen a couple comments about how it would make it easy or to have sorting, searching, more capabilities here, we really, we have a beautiful, not just beautiful, but a very practical and, <laughs> and, and fabulous new feature for how we lay out your messages. It'll make more sense, be easier, faster for you. So look for that. We're on, we're, it's a big project, but we are in the middle of that, and we're always listening to your thoughts about how we can improve this. Um, here you'll see that the, earlier today I created a test only message, right? That was right before the, the webinar. And, but I also have autopilots that are loaded into my list. Now, a lot of these you're seeing are the social versions, which we'll talk about on Thursday. But you'll notice that some of them will also be emailed. A lot of these social now have launched, but I can also, and these were added for me automatically. But you can also see that I'll have uh, other uh, events and other uh, items as well. So um, I've got multiple channels selected for my autopilot. As I go through the list, though, I'll see that many of these are indeed email capabilities. You'll even start to see social uh, versions as well that will appear here. So lots of content, uh, lots of ways to see one. Let's create a new message. Um, and I want to show you then and walk you through how that part works. Then I also want to show you the e-card uh, concept first, right? So we talked about how there are these autopilot e-cards, yes, and then what I want to also remind you is that there are also these tools that are really powerful. This is the section, that uh, the second section and type, and that's customizable templates. You'll pick and choose from our extensive library. You'll send to just the groups you'd like. And then you'll track the results. And you can even follow up accordingly uh, by doing that. So I clicked Create a New Message. I gave it a name, Test eCard. Now, to get to our eCard library, I'm going to want to choose a template, choose a new template, right? And when I do that, then I'm going to be taken to a list of different categories. 
our library. Now we've reorganized this a little bit to make it easier for everyone. So if you're in part of our one of our enterprise editions, you might be seeing here a CBS real estate uh, header here that might include your own local content in Omaha, or you might be seeing a Volks Doctor Auto edition uh, showing uh, a specific client of ours. So you may see additional options at the top that are customized just for you. But under Custom Industry Editions, you'll see how we've started to add e-commerce and auto and education and food and beverage restaurants. And of course, real estate, we have a big section here. Uh, let's look at education for a second, because I just want to show you some of the um, scope of what we can do. Also, the fact that there may be templates in another industry that you really might want to take advantage of. But by that, I mean, let's say you're in mortgage, and you have um, uh, and you have sessions or classes or training, and you know that you're going to be promoting a seminar. Well, you can go to the education edition, and you can guess that there's going to be an e-card that might have an apple or might have an alphabet or might have a chalkboard with some pretty neat ways for you to customize this. So let me show you how it works. If you click on this uh, one of these versions, you'll be taken to our editing area. Now, a couple quick uh, reminders. You're looking at something now in a what you s edit is what you see, right? This is not the final version that will be seen by your customer. So let me explain that this image is a large header image. Many of you often ask, could I replace that image? And the answer is yes. Uh, it, you've got to do it carefully. Of course, you've got to check your work. But if I take this image, right, I, I clicked on it, and if I instead right-click on it, will bring up an option called properties. And now I can see the width and the height that's being used for this specific image. And there's an image source that's here. And this means that it's an HTTP image somewhere on a website. If you've been provided an image somewhere and you have it online, you could choose it right here. Now there are other options as well allowing you to upload your own photos right, so that you could have your own images. But if you wanted, you could pick an image. You'd want to be conscious of the size and of how big or large we'd want to make that. right? But here's a pretty nice looking home. And it's wide. And it might fit as a replacement into there. So again, I could have uploaded images myself. These are the three that I already had. Let me just show you that just to make sure you got it. I click Upload. I click select, which is going to look at my image, right? My um, my library on my computer, and so my images folders I could move around to. And if I then am ready, I could add multiple, or if I want to upload that image, now I have our Tuesday, uh, yesterday, uh, webinar image I'd made. But again, I've got this house. I'm going to take this one. And what I'm going to do is, you'll notice there were properties that let me specify, uh, that were already specified for that image location. So just to be safe, I'm going to remove the width and height of this image, because I'm going to allow it to inherit right those other choices. Or if I knew that I wanted to limit this, or that this image was originally a thousand pixels wide, because it's a big one, right? And by the way, in your computer, when you're looking at images, typically you can right-click and get info or see details to find out the sizing of that image. But let's say I just want to go with with 450, or I want to start stay at 400, which we knew no might be safe. I'm going to leave the height off because I don't want to force or squish the image potentially, and I'm going to click Insert, and now. You can see here that it is that was the height I defined for that image now, but now specifically with this one, I'm going to replace. I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to click OK. And that allows me to now have the same type of e-card with the cool header looking like a postal card with a headline. This looks very integrated. In fact, let me show you by clicking Preview. It'll take out all of those uh, guides or those dotted lines. This is exactly what the consumer is going to receive in their inbox. What do you think?
By the way, remember, throw comments and feedback to us if you're on the live webinar. So this is that email, and I can now I'm going to get back out of preview mode. I could also, by the way, in preview mode, send myself a preview by email. Always a great idea. All right. Now, instead of thanks for a great year, I've I've decided that instead of having a a, a form, what was it, a session or a seminar, <laughs> I'm going to say, did you ever see a uh, St. Patrick Court? Now, what you see is that we automatically can make a headline that looks integrated with that photo, right, because it has the gray border around it and all nice there. So this is an example of an e-card where I've turned it into something totally my own. The next thing I want to tell you is probably our biggest uh, concern of all for our users, and that is this. This is a tag. We mentioned these before. This is called contact gear name. Okay, And you'll see in different templates where you can add other tags as well. But the dear name means, uh, and it's automatically populated, by the way, with the contact's first name. So don't worry. We're going to provide their first name. We're going to specialize, and, uh, specialize it to them. But you can add additional tags or delete that if you'd like. Or, right? Then this is a tag as well, but it's being displayed. And this is why we say in all caps, note, <laughs> replace this section. Some of you, um, it's easy, I think, to do where maybe if you're in a hurry, you see that there's text here and you go ahead and move on. But what I want you to know is this is an example where it's up to you to provide the content. Okay, So I'm going to say I've just listed this amazing home, this app, right? and I'd love to have you stop by. Uh, from the outside, it's beautiful, but just wait till you see the inside. And then it'll have your name dropped in, and then it will automatically have your business card uh, automatically here. And that can include your, will include automatically your photo, your brand's logo. So if, this, uh, if you're sending this from a hardware store, it would have your True Value logo for some of our True Value friends. And then there would be links to your personal or your business's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn website newsletter that we provide, and also a Contact Me form. Does that make sense? So that's just a little bit of a, an overview of a, of a template, or in this case, an e-card. What I'd like to do under this template idea, though, is show you some of the other options that you have, because there are so many. I mentioned right that you could choose from now even these other industries and their e-cards. There might be something that you might see here that could be even in another category that you might like. Here are, uh, if you're a director of education for an organization, you might like this chalkboard for a um, e-stationary. Okay, so here is what we call an e-stationary. Now we have lots of designs for this for lots of different industries. Again, my account happens to be uh, Panda is my photo and uh, this brand image is my brand logo. But you'll see it drops in your contact details and it gives you a place to write a letter to someone. Okay, if I change templates again, I can see all kinds of different styles in education a different in education edition. If you jump up to auto edition, you can also see things like newsletter style. Now, this is not our official e newsletter product, but this is an edition that's been uh, made for you being able to go in and customize. There's a lot of Latin in some of these templates, right? For those of you who are familiar with using templates and the World Wide Web, you'll know that that Latin means this is a, a layout template for you to use. We've already dropped in all your custom information, but you have the ability to go in and you can change the subheading, the headline, the sections. You can click and choose and delete. So here's an example that you've got to choose from. Even a map uh, image you can drop in. So keep an eye out for these because it's a wonderful way for you to share, and it may even give you your own style. A wonderful question was asked uh, just a moment ago, and that was about changing the color behind a headline. So as you know, um, this, uh, this example that we're looking at right now, oh, sorry, I'm going a little fast. Let me show you what I had done. That example was one where we happened to pick a burnt red color for the background of that headline. So what I did is I right-clicked on it and I chain and I chose cell properties. And some of you may never have to worry about this, right? But if my color is green, let me make it something a little more appropriate. Let's say I want to change that to red, okay? And 
I then click OK, you'll notice that magically that background color is no longer the burnt red, it's the bright red. Does that make sense? hope that answers your question. A lot of times you can find that if you do things like right click, you'll get to change properties, right? And, and like we just did before. Also one thing, if I in this message want to say, um, contact me, right, is part of my message because I want you to call me about this great new thing I'm sharing with you or about the new release of the new car on the lot. I'm going to select the words contact me, and then I'm going to go up to this little link above a globe that's called a hyperlink manager, and I'm going to change this to say come and when clicking this link come to my contact me page or wherever you want them to go on your website you can use our contact me page in this case I'm just going to change it to google.com and I click OK yep, now you can see that it's a color now when I click preview just as a consumer will see it in their in box it's gonna have the new red and the contact me and now when you click it it's gonna go to guess where Google. So that's the idea, and that's what we want to make sure that you, I think we restrict them from linking within this preview since this is just the email. But it works. You can send yourself a copy, you'll see. Okay? So that's the idea. At any time, as I've been showing you, you can change templates, and the changing templates lets you to get back to uh, this ability to um, choose different categories, choose from different editions of ours, choose all purpose. All purpose is a, now an even more general idea where you could send an e-card, but we have several, many different general choices. You might find things you like. You also might want to go with the seasons. So spring is popular right now, <laughs> and actually here in Louisville, Kentucky has been for weeks, uh, since January, I think. Uh, and here you could choose any of these types of greetings. This, again, could be already set for you if you chose the autopilot, but in this case, this is an example of something that you could send that could be holiday specific. You'll notice there are lots of additional templates for announcements, event invites, so this could, uh, uh, the whole section of ones where you can have an event happening at your location, and you can, we've already done some of the work, your photo's already there, or your logo for your business is there, the location you can change, the date, the RSVP link, you can link to wherever you'd like, your phone numbers as have already been added, so some great opp opp opportunities here to, to use some of these templates, including the your invited. I'm going to show you one more. If you have social networks, which I know many of you do, and you're probably coming or watching the social tools uh, session, you can go in, and if you'd like to build your Facebook following, click the Facebook template. It automatically comes up. Find us on Facebook comes up. It automatically puts your images in, and it automatically links to your Facebook URL, the one that you put in your settings. All right, so this is a completely customized message. You'll want to add a, just a, all you got to do is add a personal note here, custom message, and now this can be sent as an email. And as an email, then you've got the wonderful benefit of being able to make it personal and customize it and have them come to your site because this week we're going to provide for our 100th Facebook fan we're going to offer a free session of yoga. And this might apply if you're a yoga studio or if you have a friend who has one, right? So be thinking of some creative ideas. We have a lot of great things that are happening uh, as we're seeing these. So that's been one of our, one of our really great um, examples. So I do want to just um, show you a little bit of an additional idea of these customized templates that can be used. We talked um, in our newsletter session about how we have styles of templates that can be used if you want to make your very own from scratch newsletter. And then we also have talked about just now customizable templates. This is a newsletter example where there's category, right? Just like there were e-cards, there are also e-newsletters. And this is a, for a firm we work with in Ireland, uh, which we love, and this is called The Market. And this is a, a newsletter template that we built for them. And by the way, we have custom design services. If any of you want us to build you a set of customized templates, we have a package that's available. We'd love to do that. Um, so ask us about that, check our website. But this is an email newsletter template branded to um, the individual at the market with graphics and links to their site 
with uh, different categories they can change each month, including the wine club. Uh, and as I scroll down, there's recent news and promotions. And gosh, a pancake sounds good right now. Only three for only two euros. So uh, keep that in mind. And also all the way down to options that they can switch out these items, uh, including Cheerios, buy one, get one free. I think that's another good deal. Hop on over there. Uh, right outside of Dublin. Uh, and this is the features and some of the customization that they've been able to do. So um, one last thing I want to talk about, and I'll do this quickly. This is an e-listing specific feature. And as I mentioned, in the mobile features we'll talk about, uh, it's on Friday for those of you joining us live, or it will be recorded for all of you otherwise, um, there's an ability for you to add a listing, add photos, pick a layout style, select a header image, and send it. And that's all called e-listing. So what I'd like to do is walk through this. We're going to show you, and I will show you really quick, just an example of creating a new message, right, and then naming it, and in this case I'm going to call it e-listing and get started and then I'm going to choose e-listings and then I'm going to have the ability to choose from the listings I've already added. Now a listing can be any type of an image or of an of a item. It could even be about you. It could be your uh, personal business card and this will make more sense on Friday uh, as well. But if you add a listing, and let's say it's going to be a real estate listing, you'll see then that you'll have a form. And you could choose from cars or rentals or real estate, other types of, of items. But in this case, the form is specific to real estate, letting you choose new listings, featured properties, update its status. You can add its address, its details, city, state, zip, the state it's in, the price. right? And then the real important thing that will make it pop will be the, a major headline for that item, a subheadline, a brief description, and even a URL when you click from that email that you send or that text message that you send or that Facebook post that you make, um, all tied to this listing, it's going to direct the consumer to that location. That might be the default page we give you, just leave it blank. Or it might be a URL straight to that listing detail page or product ID page on your website. And then you can add photos. Pretty simple here. You choose a file from your computer, give it a name, an optional description, and then you'll add it. And then you'll add another, and add it, and another. And those images will all appear here. So let me go back, and I just want to show you then my listings that I currently have available, right, that, that we were talking about in my listing section. And there's a word called action here. And it's a really cool one, so I can click Action. And now you'll see, soon be Facebook tweet, LinkedIn, send a real estate e-listing, or a mobile stats, a mobile detail, text messages, et cetera. But I'm going to choose send real estate e-listing, uh, and that's going to bring me to a layout. I'm going to choose a layout, like this one image. with, And then I, if my partner, my brand, or my firm has custom header images, they'll all appear here. If we've created a custom header package for you, it'll appear at the top. Otherwise, I have lots of nice choices, uh, in this case for a real estate listing. And I want to pick this one. I like this old wood beams look. So say the house, it's appropriate, right? And there's some old wooden beams there. Now it's going to bring me to the edit page, just like we saw before, with the wooden beams, with the headline, I mentioned the importance of that, and the sub-headline, the address, the, the bedrooms, the baths, the price, even an ability to see more online and get a map view, and of course your information. Now I mentioned you can have photos. Uh, once again, today I was taking a look in my inbox, I was, as of course I sign up for lots of new Panda subscribers or users, of course, but I'll share this one with you. I signed up for the Polis team. Frank Polis has been with us for a long time. We love the Polis team. So they're um, down in Florida, and they created a listing for in Miami and used that uh, headline, that subhead. They added their first photo as their main photo, and it talks about the details of the property. This is the description field. Uh, let me show it to you a little closer. There we go. So the main image, the description field, right? And then you can load as many thumbnails as you would like. Um, for many of you, by the way, you might be with a partner of ours where your records, your 
automobiles, your houses, uh, your, your products might be listed here automatically, but thumbnails will appear, all right, and you can add as many as you'd like. We always fit them into this same area, and you see here, there's a link to then go see more online. That's the link I mentioned, or you can always even get a map view. So you can plot it straight down to Google with street-by-street -street driving directions and get to see that thing, that car, that auto, that product for sale, uh, that job, uh, all via the map of where it's located. And of course, branded to you, your designation's name, phone numbers, your brand's logo, and of course, links to your email, even your Facebook. So all of this is part of the e-listings feature. And that really does cover the biggest pieces of our look at uh, the e uh, listings tools as well as the customizable templates that I mentioned as well as the ability for you to set up autopilot set it and forget it options so that's our eTools product in a nutshell and one last reminder again many of you are with broker partners uh, and or franchise or uh, industry partners of ours who provide this tool to you at no cost so it's a beautiful benefit that you're there with that firm uh, and stay there and keep using these tools and for those of you not you'll find out on our website and you'll see that you can add the e tools feature uh, right in a shopping cart uh, and that's available as all of our features are 